Well, this is about the, uh, I don't know, I guess the fifth or sixth time I come here by the rail yard, you know, filming the choo choo trains, doing the shunting here in the yard. And I've never seen nothing else parked here, except for when I came here yesterday and I didn't see any trains here, but somebody drove by and uh, emptied a bunch of boxes of branches. Uh, anyway, but. Uh, Never thought I would expect to see this here. This is one of the two amphibious buses. And um, this is the more modern one. The other one is still in service, which dates back to its creation of the 70s. And uh, I met the owner actually who built these, invented them. He's uh, quite a clever guy, that's for sure. Uh, the first one was built on a military uh, duck chassis. Uh, which, those of you who don't know, is basically a huge boat with wheels on it. And uh, I would imagine this is the same deal. I know the other bus has a, or had a man, a British man diesel motor. This one, I don't know what it has, I'm sure it's diesel. And I rode in the other one many years ago on the St. Lawrence River there. It's pretty cool. Allo bus. And, uh, it's pretty neat stuff. It's strange though how he has a uh, a bus or a truck rim here, a front wheel on the back. Usually this is always on the front, these wheels. I'm sure there's a reason for it, but anyway. Maybe there's nowhere else to park it right now. And I just saw the other one actually, oddly enough, in old Montreal. So, kind of neat, you know? Anyway, that's it, that's it.